Have you ever wondered what happens when a colossal structure at sea faces its worst nightmare? Today, we're diving into the harrowing tale of the Alexander L. Keeland, an oil rig disaster that shook the world. Let's dive into it. The four remaining feet are all that can be seen of the rig. If any person has been in the water, like shot by this accident, but you have a... Although it's considered bad form to say it now, the high... What if I told you that this catastrophe was not just a tale of engineering failure, but also a story of human courage and the harsh realities of sea-based industries? Let's embark on a journey through the chilling events of March 27, 1980, when the North Sea witnessed one of its most tragic incidents, the calm before the storm. Under the guise of this deceptive tranquility, the Alexander L. Kyland stood as a towering testament to human ingenuity its imposing silhouette casting a shadow over the churning North Sea. Workers aboard went about their daily routines, surrounded by the familiar clanks and whirs of heavy machinery, oblivious to the impending doom. Life on the rig was a unique blend of the mundane and the extraordinary, where the simplicity of daily tasks contrasted sharply with the complexity of operating in one of the harshest environments on Earth. In this isolated world, the sea was both a friend and a foe. Its vastness offered a sense of freedom and boundless opportunity, yet its unpredictable nature held a lurking threat. The rig, with its labyrinth of pipes and steel, stood unchallenged, a seemingly invincible force amidst the relentless waves. The crew shared jokes, stories, and dreams, their bonds forged through shared experiences in this remote outpost. As the day progressed, the sea's mood seemed as calm as ever, its surface a mirror reflecting the gray skies above. Inside the rig, the hum of activity continued unabated, a well-orchestrated dance of man and machine. But nature, in its unfathomable power, was scripting a different story. Unseen beneath the surface, forces were at play, setting the stage for a tragedy that would shake the very foundations of maritime safety and human confidence in engineering marvels. This calm before the storm was not just a physical state, but a metaphorical one, reflecting the overconfidence and complacency that can precede great disasters. In these quiet moments, the Alexander L. Keeland was more than just a rig. It was a symbol of the fine line between human achievement and the respect we must maintain for the natural forces that surround us. A sudden turn for the worse. On that fateful day, the ordinary rhythm of the Alexander L. Keeland was shattered in an instant. A loud, ominous crack tore through the air, a sound that was foreign to the ears of the seasoned crew. It was the kind of sound that one instinctively knows heralds disaster. Within moments, the rig, once a bastion of stability, was thrust into chaos. The structure that had stood so proudly against the North Sea's harshness began to betray its inhabitants. The catastrophe unfolded rapidly. A critical structural component known as the D-Leg had failed catastrophically. This failure was not a gradual occurrence, but a sudden and complete breakdown, sending shock waves throughout the entire rig. The once sturdy platform, a reliable workplace and home for the crew, transformed into a perilous trap. As the rig began to tilt dangerously, the sense of disbelief among the crew quickly turned into a fight for survival. Alarms blared, cutting through the cold air, as the sea, once a distant entity, now loomed ominously close. The platform, tilted at a precarious angle, became a maze of hazards. Equipment and furnishings that were once part of everyday life became obstacles in a rapidly escalating survival scenario. In these critical moments, the contrast between human vulnerability and the unforgiving nature of the sea was starkly evident. The workers, skilled and experienced, were suddenly thrust into a situation that no training could have fully prepared them for. The sea, indifferent to the plight of the humans above, continued its eternal rhythm, now a threatening force encroaching upon the disintegrating man-made structure. This sudden turn for the worse was a stark reminder of the fine balance between technological achievement and the respect owed to the forces of nature. The survival struggle. 
In the immediate aftermath of the structural failure, the Alexander L. Keeland became a scene of utter pandemonium. The rig, now partially submerged and tilted at a perilous angle, transformed into an unforgiving labyrinth of danger. For the crew and workers aboard, the fight for survival had begun, a test of endurance, quick thinking, and sheer will to live. As the rig capsized, the North Sea's icy waters rapidly infiltrated the structure. The freezing temperature of the water added a critical level of urgency to the escape efforts. Every second in the water drastically reduced the chances of survival, turning the situation into a desperate race against hypothermia. The crew members, facing a scenario far beyond any standard emergency drills, were forced to rely on their instincts and camaraderie. In this chaos, acts of bravery and selflessness emerged. Some crew members guided others to safety, while some struggled to release lifeboats and rafts amidst the disarray. The challenge was not just physical, but also mental. The shock of the situation, combined with the need to make life or death decisions in split seconds, pushed everyone to their limits. The once familiar surroundings of the rig became an obstacle course of slippery decks, falling objects, and collapsing structures, all obscured by the darkness and the relentless pounding waves. Communication was another critical barrier. Amidst the noise of the disaster, verbal communication was nearly impossible, making coordination and cooperation even more challenging. This lack of communication added an isolating aspect to the struggle, as individuals were often unsure about the fate of their colleagues and friends. The survival struggle on the Alexander L. Keeland was not just a battle against the physical destruction of the rig, but also against the overwhelming forces of nature. It was a grim reminder of the unpredictability of the sea and the importance of emergency preparedness in such extreme environments. The ordeal faced by the crew that day stands as a testament to human resilience and the instinctive drive to persevere against all odds. The Rescue Operations As the Alexander L. Keelan succumbed to the relentless sea, a call for help echoed across the North Sea. The response to this distress signal marked the commencement of a massive and challenging rescue operation. Teams from various sectors the Norwegian Navy, nearby oil platforms, and civilian vessels rallied together, forming a united front against the calamity. The rescue operation was a race against time and nature. Helicopters braved the harsh weather conditions, maneuvering through strong winds and low visibility to reach the stricken rig. The pilots and their crews displayed extraordinary skill and bravery, hovering over the chaotic scene to airlift survivors. These aerial rescues were perilous, with the risk of the helicopters being hit by debris or caught in the rig's superstructure. Meanwhile, ships in the vicinity diverted their course to join the rescue efforts. These vessels faced their own set of challenges, navigating rough seas to get close enough to the capsizing rig. The sea was littered with debris and survivors, making the approach hazardous. Crews on these ships threw down ropes and life rings pulling survivors from the freezing waters. On the rig itself, amid the panic and confusion, some crew members showed exceptional courage and presence of mind. They helped their injured or disoriented colleagues, guiding them to safety and assisting in the deployment of life rafts. These acts of heroism provided crucial aid during the initial stages of the disaster, saving many lives. The coordination between different rescue teams was a critical factor in the operation's success. Despite the adverse conditions and communication challenges, they managed to orchestrate a complex rescue effort. Aftermath and repercussions. In the aftermath of the Alexander L. Keelan disaster, a profound period of introspection and transformation engulfed the offshore oil industry. A rigorous investigation into the catastrophe unveiled a distressing combination of engineering failures, inadequate safety protocols, and maintenance oversights. The root cause was identified as the fracture of the D-leg, a critical failure that had tragically gone unnoticed due to lax inspection standards. This revelation served as a stark wake-up call, underscoring the dire need for stringent safety and maintenance practices in the offshore environment. 
As a direct consequence, sweeping changes were implemented across the industry. Regulatory bodies enforced stricter safety regulations, demanding higher standards in the design, construction, and maintenance of offshore structures. These reforms aimed to ensure rigorous, frequent inspections, improved emergency response strategies, and comprehensive training for crew members. The disaster catalyzed a paradigm shift in the industry's approach to safety, prioritizing the well-being of workers over operational productivity. The legal and financial ramifications of the disaster were significant. Families of the victims and survivors pursued legal action, leading to substantial settlements and further emphasizing the industry's accountability for the safety of its workforce. This legal aftermath highlighted the industry's responsibility not only in terms of compensation, but also in preventing such tragedies. Furthermore, the Alexander L. Keeland disaster left an indelible psychological imprint on everyone involved, from survivors and rescue workers to the families of the deceased. This led to a newfound recognition of the necessity for psychological support services in the wake of such traumatic events, emphasizing the need for comprehensive care that extends beyond physical injuries. Ultimately, the tragedy of the Alexander L. Keeland became a catalyst for a more safety-conscious and responsible oil industry. It reshaped the industry's ethos, driving advancements in safety technology and practices. The disaster thus served as a pivotal turning point, ensuring that the lessons learned from this calamitous event would forge a path toward a safer future in offshore operations, honoring the lives lost by instigating critical and lasting changes. The ripple effect on oil rig safety. The catastrophic capsizing of the Alexander L. Keyland had a profound and lasting impact on the oil rig industry, creating a ripple effect that dramatically transformed safety practices and awareness. This tragedy didn't just impact those directly involved. It reverberated across the global oil industry, prompting a re-evaluation of safety protocols and emergency response strategies. This event highlighted a stark reality, that the safety measures in place at the time were grossly inadequate in the face of such unforeseen disasters. The industry was forced to acknowledge that a more robust and proactive approach to safety was imperative. As a result, there was a significant shift towards prioritizing safety over operational efficiencies. The ethos of the entire industry changed with a newfound emphasis on the value of human life and the importance of creating a safe working environment. In the wake of the disaster, regulatory bodies worldwide tightened their oversight of offshore operations. Stricter regulations were implemented, focusing on the structural integrity of oil rigs, the quality of materials used in construction, and the regularity of maintenance checks. These regulations also mandated comprehensive emergency preparedness and response plans, ensuring that all personnel on board were adequately trained to handle emergency situations. Moreover, the Alexander L. Keelan disaster led to innovations in safety technology. New designs for oil rigs were developed, incorporating fail-safes and redundancies to prevent similar catastrophes. The industry also saw advancements in life-saving equipment, from more reliable lifeboats and life jackets to sophisticated emergency alert systems. The psychological impact of the disaster also prompted the industry to invest in better support systems for workers, recognizing the mental and emotional toll of working in such high-risk environments. Counseling services and mental health support became more accessible, and there was a greater emphasis on creating a culture of open communication and support among crew members. Overall, the Alexander L. Keelan disaster served as a critical turning point in the history of oil rig safety. It not only reshaped regulations and operational practices, but also fundamentally altered the industry's culture. The legacy of this tragedy is a safer, more vigilant oil industry, one that continually strives to ensure that such a disaster never occurs again. Personal Stories of Bravery and Loss The Alexander L. Keelan disaster, while a story of tragedy and structural failure, is also a poignant narrative of individual bravery and profound loss. Amidst the chaos and terror of the capsizing rig, there emerged countless stories of courage, sacrifice, 
and human resilience that resonate deeply with the rawest aspects of the human spirit. One of the most gripping tales is that of a young engineer who, despite the imminent danger to his own life, tirelessly helped his colleagues into lifeboats. His selfless actions in the face of mortal peril saved numerous lives, though he tragically did not survive the disaster himself. His story, like many others, stands as a testament to the extraordinary courage that ordinary individuals can display in the most harrowing circumstances. Then there's the account of a group of workers who, finding themselves trapped in a rapidly flooding section of the rig, managed to keep each other calm. Working together against overwhelming odds, they found a way to escape through a small window, a feat that required not just physical strength, but an incredible presence of mind and mutual trust. The disaster also brought to light the stories of the rescuers who faced the daunting task of navigating through treacherous waters and debris to reach survivors. Among them was a helicopter pilot whose skillful maneuvering under adverse weather conditions enabled him to rescue several people from the sea. His bravery under pressure was a critical factor in the success of the rescue operation. However, amidst these stories of heroism, there are also heart-wrenching accounts of loss. Families of the deceased were left to grapple with the sudden and devastating loss of their loved ones. The stories of spouses, children and parents waiting for news, only to receive confirmation of their worst fears, are a somber reminder of the human cost of industrial disasters. The personal narratives of the Alexander L. Keelan disaster are not just stories of individuals. They are reflections of our collective humanity. They remind us of the incredible strength and bravery that people can exhibit in the face of danger, as well as the profound and lasting impact that such tragedies have on families and communities. These stories of bravery and loss are integral to the legacy of the Alexander L. Keeland, serving as powerful reminders of both the frailty and the resilience of human life. Closing Remarks in closing, the story of the Alexander L. Keelan disaster is more than a historical account of an industrial catastrophe. It is a narrative that touches upon the core of human experience, encompassing bravery, innovation, loss, and resilience. This event, etched into the annals of maritime history, serves as a poignant reminder of the unpredictability of the natural world and the inherent risks of harnessing its resources. The legacy of the Alexander L. Keelan tragedy extends beyond the advancements in safety regulations and practices it spurred. It stands as a somber testament to the importance of vigilance, preparedness, and the continual reassessment of safety measures in the face of technological and environmental challenges. The disaster underscores the necessity of balancing the relentless pursuit of industrial progress with the utmost respect for safety and human life. Moreover, the personal stories of courage, teamwork, and loss that emerged from this disaster highlight the indomitable human spirit. They remind us of the extraordinary feats of bravery and selflessness that individuals are capable of in moments of crisis, as well as the profound impact such events have on survivors, rescuers, and the families of those lost. As we reflect on the Alexander L. Keelan disaster, let us honor the memory of those who perished by continuing to prioritize safety, foster innovation in disaster response, and support the emotional and psychological well-being of all workers in high-risk industries. Their legacy lives on in the safer working environments and the heightened awareness of the need for continual improvement in safety standards and practices. This story, though rooted in tragedy, ultimately guides us towards a future where the lessons learned from the past illuminate the path to a safer, more conscious, and more humane approach to industrial endeavors and the brave souls who undertake them. <laughs>